Hey guys, it's Carl. And one of the biggest questions that I've got on YouTube since I've kind of started, I think, you know, close to 10 years ago, what is my workout regime? What do I do to stay in shape? And that time has finally come. So I've actually partnered up with Tempo to showcase their new move. It's essentially a compact at home gym. And since COVID, or I guess since this entire pandemic, I haven't had a gym membership in close to two years. And I think working out at here in the studio or at home has kind of been the norm, not just for me, but for a lot of you. And I think having stuff like this is super useful just to stay motivated because um, yeah, maybe the hardest part is moving from say your couch, which could be, you know, five meters away to your workout area. So having your own personalized trainer slash coach is always beneficial. And that's essentially what the tempo move does. And I will quickly say though, as a little tip, not just for workouts, but life in general, you just got to put in the work. So 10 years ago, I'll kind of rewind the clock, um, maybe even longer than that. I was starting off university. I weighed 125 pounds. I'll kind of throw some pictures up. Me at Frosh Week, I was super skinny. I think I had to draw abs on my body. But yeah, since that day, or I guess since then, I have actively worked out maybe five, four or five times a week. Obviously when I've been sick, I've taken breaks, but consistency has been key. And that's the same for YouTube since I started my YouTube channel. I've been uploading videos four-ish times a week. Um, if you wanna succeed in anything in life, it's all about staying consistent. Nothing really replaces hard work. But anyways, to the actual tempo move. And you'll see in the unboxing, it is now super minimal, super compact and very modular. It comes with its own little weight storage area, a set of weight plates that kind of range from one and a half pounds all the way up to five. And you can even get extra ones. Um, I've got a set of 10 pound plates as well. It comes with a barbell set and you can also add extra accessories for whatever your workout needs are. But the most important part is the core. This is where you'll dock your iPhone. And once you download the Tempo app, you've pretty much unlocked your own personalized training coach slash trainer for your own home. And that's so useful if you're just getting into the workout space. I get it, going to a gym can be intimidating. You've got meatheads pushing, you know, 400 pounds on the squat, 250 pounds on the bench press. Half the time they're flexing in the mirror. That's the last place you want to learn how to work out. And what's kind of cool with the tempo move, you can input your weight, your goals. So for myself, I'm trying to maintain my muscle mass and it will create your own personalized workout plan to kind of achieve those goals. And it also uses Tempo's proprietary 3D Tempo Vision, which essentially has 3D sensors to give you personalized recommendations. So say you're doing a bicep curl incorrectly. Another great example, this will be kind of tough to do on screen, but say for shoulder press, you wanna have that optimal 90 degree angle. You don't wanna to go too low as that gives a lot of stress on your shoulder. So you'll see a little recommendation on screen when you're doing your shoulder press. That's kind of tough to do. <laughs> but that's super useful if you're just kind of getting new and into the space. And even someone like myself, who's pretty well versed at working out, one of my goals is to be a bit more mobile, work on my stretching, work on my yoga game as I get into my older age. Stiffness has uh, kind of dawned on me. So once a week, I try to dedicate one day to a yoga workout and I definitely follow along all those tips because um, yeah, half the time I don't really know what I am doing. But anyways, we'll kind of switch to a workout. Maybe I'll even crush two to kind of showcase what that looks like. And uh, it is tough to talk when I am working out. So we'll have some inspiring B-roll. We'll catch you after my workout, it's plural. Oh, okay, are you ready for this workout? Oh yeah, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, okay, here we go. Right now, we're in first place, 9.30. Let's go. This is my favorite part during hypertrophy. It's the little rest in between. So we've got 20 seconds, rest. Rest equals growth.
Yeah, leaderboard, baby. 2730. I'm dying out here. There's no brakes in this one. Mm -mm. Okay, so I did actually a two day there. Um, and what's nice, you can sync it to your Apple Watch. So if you want to kind of close your rings for the day, um, that's a nice little addition. I do find having a dedicated heart rate monitor is a tad bit better, a bit more accurate if that's important to you. And for my uh, kind of workout specifically, I do follow a hypertrophy based workout regime and that really focuses on growing overall muscle in specific groups. So say on day one, I will focus on chest. Day two, I will focus on back. If you are a beginner, I would kind of combine workout areas, so chest and triceps, since those kind of complement each other. Day two, back and biceps is a great one. Day three would be, say, core. Day four is the dreaded leg day. Do not miss leg day, you will regret it. Day five for me is usually my rest day, and then day six is my kind of movement day where I try to do yoga or increase my mobility as I'm trying to keep that up. And day seven is my sports day. I do play a lot of soccer, and as we move into the winter, it is indoor soccer now, but I did check out some of Tempo's cardio classes they're pretty decent, but uh, yeah, still playing actual sports is what I try to do. So yeah, that's pretty much my basic workout routine. And over a decade, if I kind of look back, my workouts honestly haven't really changed too much. And once you learn the basic movement patterns, um, most workouts stay pretty similar. You can spice it up with different sorts of classes, but I'm sure you'll find, um, you know, there's only so many ways you can do a bicep curl. There's only so many ways you can push up for say bench press or I guess a push up. But uh, if any of you have any questions, happy to answer them in the comments, whether it's workout related, whether it's tech related, or I guess we're kind of in the crossroads right now. But the cool thing about the Tempo Move, you now have access to a library of classes. Those range from strength training to yoga to hit classes. And the best part, um, that library keeps on growing. So it keeps on spicing up uh, the workout game, which I know is important to stay kind of motivated. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you want any more info, I will leave the link of Tempo down below. And as a little reference point, the Tempo Move costs 395 bucks with a $39 monthly membership. So it's pretty much just like getting your own at home gym with a personalized trainer slash coach. So I definitely think it's worth it, um, especially if you're new into the workout space. Hope you guys are all crushing your workouts and uh, yeah. Hope you kind of learned something today in my workout regime. We'll catch the rest of you in one of my next ones. Peace. Yeah, I guess I'm the and the jumpy jacks. It's all the same. Let's beat ourselves. Okay. Yeah. Let's get at least one more. Round. Yeah. Three seconds left. Move it. Get one more round. Oh, ditch those weights. Take that break. Let's finish things off in style. Same way we started. Ooh, we're gonna see it, right? We're fighting here together. All right, we gotta take a little TV timeout. <laughs> <laughs>